Welcome back, Pipers. Pipe Smokers Haven. I'm Mark. Glad to be back. Thursday already. Uh-oh. Might have packed this too tight. We'll see. Smoking my new Peterson Emerald. With some Boswell sweet tea. Again, thank you, Willie. How was everybody on this Thursday afternoon? Kind of windy. And it's blowing kind of crossways, so that doesn't help. We got about a six foot high privacy fence back here, but if it's windy, it doesn't block much. But it's better in this neighborhood than it is a lot of parts in Rockford because we have, this is probably the most, this neighborhood is populated with more trees than anywhere in town, which is good. So we are getting, this is the time of year at work, they do all of their yearly um, evaluations, okay? So they're giving up. You get a scorecard, kind of a scorecard thing, and depending how you score, that's how well you of a raise you will get, basically, putting it the simplest terms. Got a good evaluation last week. We're finding out, I'll find out what I get for a raise tomorrow. He wanted to get me into his office today, but I just didn't have time to get in there. I almost hope that it's not like a huge, huge raise because I'll just feel that much worse when I leave. But I think that's what's going to happen. Is they're going to give me a pretty decent raise. Just because they don't want to lose me. Which I can't let that change. Change my mission that I'm on. As far as moving on. It just has to happen. There's a job. I have two interviews for the same company for two different positions. One is a second interview. The other is a first interview. One's tomorrow. The other is Tuesday. It's a traveling, both are traveling positions, so I don't know if that helps, you know, the fact that I really want that, I want to try to find something that I'm traveling, I'm seeing different parts of the country, 
Uh, they even travel up to Canada, I believe. What this company does is they install safety systems onto presses, um, basically machining equipment. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but there's certain systems where you literally have to hold down two buttons for the machine to work. That type of thing. Laser curtains, safety, lockout, tagout type of things. Um, I've been in manufacturing for going on 30 years, so I understand lockout, tagout systems. I understand safety systems like this. Uh, I've never did assessments on them you know as far as what a machine needs that's what this job is um, i'm really excited about uh, an opportunity to get in the job i know that and it pays significant significantly better than where i'm at We'll see how it goes. But I'm excited anyway. Something else I want to bring up. We have a, what I believe is a mama fox living right behind our back fence. Because there's another privacy fence behind our fence. So there's no, there's never anybody back there between them fences. And I've seen her three times in the last two days cross our yard, jump over this six foot fence we have right here. And I see her moving around back there. It's pretty cool. Beautiful fox. She's big. She is a large fox. We kind of got to be wary of when it starts getting a little nicer. We, we, we'll probably have the cats out here once in a while. We'll have to keep an eye on the cats. But there is an overabundance of squirrels, birds, chipmunks, those type of little things in this area. That's probably why this fox sticks around here. There's a good food supply for it. I saw it the other day. It was midday. I can't believe. I never thought foxes were out midday. Usually they're a nocturnal. They hunt at night. They are, they stay hidden during the day, but no, not this one. It's really cool. See how long she sticks around. This summer, if she stays all summer or what. Well, tomorrow's almost the weekend already. That's good. Still not quite. What, the weather still isn't quite where I would really like it. Still cloudy. It seems like we'll get a sunny day and it's cold. And windy and then you get a cloudy day and it stays cold because the sun isn't out we haven't broke 50 yet um, I believe tomorrow it's supposed to be we're supposed to get up to 60 which will be great I think it's supposed to rain well, it's spring. What are you going to do? So one thing I wanted to bring up, talk about, and I've, I've touched on this subject before. I'm kind of bouncing around today, but can somebody please explain to me Maybe there's people out there that know this. How you can be in your car, okay? And this happens every single day. 
I'm coming home from work. I will be in my car, windows up, and there's a, someone in a car around me smoking weed, and I smell it. It's, it. Next thing I know, it's completely filling my car, the smell of weed, and I hate. I mean, I'll use bold case letters, hate the smell of weed of someone smoking. I just hate it. I understand those who smoke it get used to it rather quickly. I've even had people tell me that they enjoy the smell of it, which, okay, whatever. I, I can't even get myself to believe that. But how does that happen? Does anyone know how, you know, these, these cars are designed, all right, to where they're, they're in their car, their windows are up. I'm in my car, windows are up. But somehow that gets inside the interior of my car. It one time got so was so bad, I smelled it the whole way. I mean, it was like inside my car, and I it, only thing I could do is roll my windows down. But one thing I do, I have a glasses. Most of us, you know, in your car, where it'll flip down to hold your glasses, your you know sunglasses, whatever. I got a very strong one of the tree uh, air fresheners that I got in there. That's the only thing that works. I'll flip that down, and then it, it, it covers it up. But, my God. Is that even legal to smoke weed in your car? I know it's legal as long as you get it from a dispensary and you smoke it in your house. Maybe somebody can help me on this. Because I don't know, I'm not real well versed with the laws, the weed laws. Um, I do know my work, they just changed their drug policy. Um, they were having so much trouble just finding people, they literally stopped testing for marijuana. Because they couldn't even afford to test people because they were, they were losing so many people. They change that now. I, I believe if you are under the influence, they can test you. If you have some sort of safety violation or whatever, they can test you at work. Um, and if you test positive, I guess you're terminated. And uh, they actually are saying they'll prosecute too. But I mean, you literally got to like, you know, injure yourself or damage company property something safety related like that they're not just doing random uh yeah so and they just do the regular random drug screening for like the heavy stuff you know meth um other things like that but they don't do random for marijuana you actually have to, you know which is fine I mean, there's no getting away from it now. Illinois legalized it, I don't know, four or five years ago. And now it's just everywhere. You can't go anywhere without smelling it on people or, you know, I mean, people are hot boxing on their way to the store. They get out of their car and it's like, holy, but to each their own. I mean, I got my hobby. I enjoy it. There might be people that think I'm fucking nuts for smoking a pipe. Um, I don't, <laughs> I just, I don't know why, but I mean, I just, it's just a question. If you know, you know, you kind of know that if you're a mechanic or something and you know the ins and outs, I understand you have a vent and it brings in outside air. But you also have a filter, okay? I know we do because when I just bought one when I got my oil changed, it was like 40 bucks for this filter. And apparently that sucker don't work very good because every day. Hopefully somebody can elaborate on that for my dumb brain because I just don't understand how it's... I honestly want to know. So. 
Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Thursday. Hope you have a wonderful Thursday night. As always, if you like the content, please like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And until next time, keep them lit.